What's up guys, welcome to another video. Today's video, as you can see by the title of the video, we're going to be making a um, tutorial on how to use um, Adobe Substance Painter in creating some 3D texture models for Gun Raiders gun skins. So yeah, first what you want to do is, if I can find the amazing file here, uh, so I found the file. Here, Substance Painter. So you want to download and install Substance Painter 3D here. Uh, the link will be in the description below. Um, so yeah, let's just uh, load it up. Awesome. So once you've loaded up some sub sub Substance Painter, yeah, uh, what you want to do is you want to be opening up the file uh, over here. I've got a uh, I've got a folder with all of the different gun skins here. Uh, I will put a link, again, I'll put a link to this in the description below where you can download all of these skins uh, for in the Substance Painter file. So that will include the main gun skin and then underneath the gun skin, as you'll see in a minute, you'll have the magazine as well. If you want to use Blender, I believe you've got to do the gun skin and then the magazine skin separate, in separate files and submit them on their thing separately. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a, be making a sniper skin today, so I will load up the sniper 3D model. So what you want to do is you want to use, um, to move around, navigate, you want to press Alt and your left mouse button to use the global move button. And then to pan, you want to just press your scroll wheel, that's like generally any other software would. Uh, so I'm just going to uh, get rid of all of the, all of the um, stuff there. Now, to use Substance Painter, at the moment, as you can see, because I've deleted the other ones, it's not a painted file, so I can't paint on it. Uh, so what you want to do is you want to go into here, press Add Layer as a paint, and now you can see you can paint on the on the file, but I'm going to change the base colour over here. So when I click, click on the base layer, go to base colour, and you can change it. And as you can see, you can see that I've drew, drawn a white line on it. Uh, you can also click on here and change the base layer to textures, so it could be be different things like that. Or down here, I believe I have yeah, I've got a gradient here of a rainbow, so I can make a, a, a rainbow sniper if I want to. It's pretty basic. It also copies the symmetry is the same on both sides, which is super helpful. So you don't have to draw on one side and then go back and draw on the other. It's automatically there. But be careful with images because it will it will flip the image back and mirror it and it will look bad. So it's best to just leave it. And I'd, I'd say out of images and like logos because I know it's gonna invert them and I don't know how to fix it. So for instance, you could drag that gold onto there. If I get rid of it, you could drag the gold onto there and it might work if I know how to. So you, you, you can play around with the software quite a bit, it's a really powerful bit of kit, um, you can get a 30 day free trial as you can see up here, I've got 7 days remaining, um, really good, really good software, uh, yeah, so if you wanna, if you, if you make a painted layer, one of the tools here, so you can paint normally, but one of the other tools is this polygon fill. So if you click on that and you change it to, let's say, I'm just going to go black because it's easier to tell the difference. It split your model into different like quadrants. So here you can see I can, I can fill in, let's say that cube there, and it's um, Control Z to undo something by the way. But yeah, you can just click on that section and it will highlight. That's how for, for some of my skin I selected like separate separate areas over here. Um, it makes it more easier to multi-select stuff. So if I want to change the whole color, I can just do that. It, it, it makes it so much easier to just do that. Anyway, uh, talking on the window on the right hand side, so that's your 3D model view on the left. On the right it automatically lays out like a net view.
that's, that's really helpful here is the backstop. And again, you have the trigger, the trigger section, so I can just pull up the trigger and then you can beat it, you know, beats. And yeah, it took me a while to get used to it. And if you're wondering what that Just by using this tool. That's how I started out the first couple of days of creating skins. It was really easy and simple. Um, you've also got, if you go to the uh, smart layers tab here, or smart masks, what you can do is an amazing thing which I've used for the rainbow set of skins that I did with the rainbow outline. What I did was uh, I used the edges strong section here. Dragged it onto the base layer, and now as you can see, you've got a nice black outline on a white skin, which looks pretty cool. So, what I did was uh, I went over to this, this bit here, so I put this down, and I made that. So, then this here, you can change what color the outlines are, and it works the same as the base color on the painting. You can select it. So many different like, customizing options you can do with these better outlines, like the outline. Based on that, if you go over to the um, smart materials section though, you've got tons of different materials for it. So, the glass visor, that's kind of like the outline, but it's, it's got like a, a good tint to it. So if I just uh, if I do that, and if we, let's go painted steel. And all of these textures will show up in game, like this, I believe, um, as far as Slayer and everyone else has yeah, got an experience on it, I think they will show up in game, so that's a really helpful thing. And here I've just got a nice like, red velvet type, metallic, like, painted red metal, which is good. Anyway, moving, moving on to the next topic, which is the importing images. You want to go head over to a website called fecteasy.com and they will do royalty free vector images and that's what makes it so easy i'm gonna link this in the description as well of the video so you can have a quick link to it uh you want to use all the free ones but all the some of the free ones have a um, watermark at the bottom so you just gonna crop that out and it should be fine submit them you do want to send the file and the link over to one of uh, I think it's uh, Lebo or just let link, link it when you when you submit it I'll show you how to submit it after, after I've made one of the skins. So what you what you can do is you can search or you can go to pattern and 
and you can basically click on the on any one of these. Pretty simple. Pretty simple thing to do. Uh, so, for example, I'm just going to go with this one. It's a, it's a pretty basic, pretty basic image to put on our skin. So, when it's downloaded. So, just going to bring this over here, and what you can do is, if you extract it to, extract it to itself, uh, I will open my file explorer, okay. and as you can see it's here, I'll go to my downloads folder, and it's just here at the folder, um, and now we've just got the normal JPEG, JPEG file for that image, I'm just going to open up. Substance Painter, and I'm just going to drag and drop that one JPEG file here. I'm going to drag and drop it down in this menu over under here. Drag it here, and you have to say what you what, what you want to use it, what you want to use the image for. So I'm going to go to Texture. I'm going to make it Color Session. Import it. So now you can see it. Now I can drag and drop, drag drag this this file that's here that I've just just loaded into Substance. I'm going to drag and drop it into the base color section and now as you can see it instantly it just imported itself over here which is th th this is how you're gonna you're gonna use import images into substance painter it's a really basic method and um, you can move it around here if you want you can make it you, 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 you can hold shift and like resize it to smaller and you you can make it so it repeats, repeats horizontally, and it, there, there's so much you can customize so much with this to get the gun skin looking exactly how you want it. It's so helpful. And yeah, so that's basically what I'm going to do. I'm just going to I'm going to load up one of my other gun skins that I made, um, and I will show you how to import it all into. Show you how to import it all, export it all, and get it all into the Gunreader server so that developers can add it into the game, hopefully. And yeah, so I'll see you back then. Okay, alright, so as you can see, I've loaded in my other, my other substance file of a ga nice galaxy, galaxy skin with a, a nice white outline on it, N nice white accents to, to the gun. I think it looks pretty smooth, pretty clean. As you can notice, I don't have the magazine under here. That's because this is one of the older files that I made, and I, I haven't, I'm yet to remake it into um, into the new file type. So I'm just going to export it as this. But it's the, the same premise follows as, as as the new files go. So what you want to do is you want to head over to the file type. Uh, make, make sure you save it as the file. Anyway, export textures here. So once you've export textures, um, what you want to do is you want to select select the, the selected um, lo lo location you want to you export it to. So I'm just going to select this folder here. That's fine. And then what you want to do here, if it says output template and it's not 2D, you want to select uh, scroll up as far as you can and press 2D here. 2D view, uh, and then 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 for, for file type you want to hit um, PNG here, and then make it 16 bits so it's the highest quality it can be, um, and then that that's that's all of that done. So press export. So that's exported there. You want to load up your file here. Just uh, list list it in that section. So what you want to do? Navigate to 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 the location. And you want to before before you import that into your into your game, you want to go go into the the, the, the gun readers Discord over here. You want to scroll down to weapon skin submission right here. So you can see some of my other skins I made today. So weapon skin submission here. But before you do any of this, you want to go back to the gun skin and you want to load up. Uh, Thing called um, snipping tool. Snip 
be taught by her. Or snip and sketch, depending on what you're using, when it's 10 or 11, and you want to press new. And then just select the whole gun here. So, so there is a, there's a preview of your, of your gun skin. You'll understand why in a minute. So you want to load back up the things you had loaded previously. Make sure it's not enough. And you want to go here. You want to type in, I don't know, let's say, um, Galaxy Snow. How about that? Okay, and now we just want to press Ctrl and V. So our, 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 our screenshot is here. And you press Enter. So that's in there, Galaxy Sniper. And now what you want to do is you want to go into the, the this here. You want to get this image. Just drag it in. Drag it into that. And as you can see, I'll open it up bigger. So you can see it. As you can see, it is, it's just, uh, it, it will look a bit different because this one I got from Blender and because it, it was complicated, I did it when I was first learning how to do skins. That's why it might look a bit different here. It's got every single face, it doesn't just have one of these, it's got two for each side. So it's confusing, it's a, a, it will look similar. It's just a, a file that the devs need to import it to the game, I think. So, yeah, you've got to wait a minute because slow mode is enabled. And it's really annoying, so you, you can just press edit. And... Actually, that's fine. I just need to just go here because it's done. Um, yep, yeah, so you want to just po post the, the gun skin here. And yeah, this is what it will look like roughly. And then the texture map for it here, and the, and the gun Raiders Discord server. And then the, 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 here is where all the developers will look at all the gun skins here. And this is how people have, have, have done the gun skins. And this is basically just a reference image to begin with of what it will look like. Or here, and then underneath is just the texture file for it there. Here's someone's um, just put in a zip file that will be here. Um, over time, what he's done is he's, he's done the, the main gun skin there and the texture file there for him. Same as me. And so it's the person. It just makes it so much easier. I'll delete these after because it doesn't have the magazine in. I'm just doing it for demonstration purposes. But yeah, this is this is basically how to make gun skins. Um, feel free to drop a comment if you have any issues with the software, any issues with installing it. Um, just yeah, play play around with the software a bit. Um, any new things that I haven't mentioned in this video, then feel free to comment them down below and help other people out. Yeah. Anyway, um, comment in the gun Raiders Discord server. Just basically go to chat or something and um, do a to an at Raven here at the top. So yeah, just at me if you need to. Maybe but I won't mind, it's fine. I don't mind helping people out in the community, but yeah, that's fine. Enjoy your day. Yeah, see you in the next one.